but it is not giving me any error messages at this point except right there well, good morning YouTube this is John and today I'm going to be navigating from the Eau Claire supercharger to downtown Eau Claire the purpose of the test today is to look at how well the new FSD 10.69.2 performs in limited visibility. All right, so I'm going by the Banbury Place here in Eau Claire. This used to be the Uniroyal Tire Factory. And we'll go back to full screen just to show how far out the visualization is detecting with limited visibility. So what I'm noticing is that autopilot is still available, although it is uh, a little more limited in terms of what it can see, so I'd expect the capabilities to be reduced in terms of traffic traffic control, but it is not giving me any error messages at this point, except right there. But it is not giving me any error messages at this point, except right there. So I spoke way too soon, that was my first error message with the limited visibility drive. So I do have the steering wheel back here showing me that full self-driving is available. Re-engage that and see how well we do. We're coming up on a part of the drive that's getting close to our river here in Eau Claire. And so there is a lot of moisture coming up off the river which is really, which is significantly reducing the visibility from what we saw earlier in the drive. A little phantom braking there for that truck that was turning. We didn't have a stop sign or other traffic control there, so there was no reason for the car to slow down. From a human driver standpoint, there's no reason for it to slow down. I'm sure that it had a reason that it detected. Continuing on our route, we're going to make a left-hand turn onto the freeway up here. So the river is just off to our right side, which is why we're seeing incredibly poor visibility at this point. I would estimate maybe 200 to 300 meters of visibility uh, looking forward. Car does see the turn signal. I do see green light for the uh, right turn, changing to yellow light. Uh, traffic is still held coming in from the left, so it's very appropriate for the car to slow down and make that turn. Although when the light changed red, the proper thing to do would be for the car to come to complete stop and wait for the turn. So we're crossing the Chippewa River. We do have a left turn coming up here in just a little bit. Uh, Stoplight intersection. Car did pick up on that, but you can see with the visualization on the screen that it didn't see that uh, very early like it typically does. So green light. All right, green light, we're ready to go. Car's a little slow getting off the start here. I do see other traffic about to pass me on the left side, which is not what we want because we want the car to be in the left lane to make the turn. So it did navigate over correctly to the left lane. We're just, we're just gonna follow this traffic through the next couple of intersections and get onto the freeway. So here's one of those issues that we see reported that we have a yellow light, the car does not stop for the yellow light, it continues through and then the light changes to red as you are in the intersection. Uh, that's unfortunate that 
that happens because that is a definitely a safety issue and, and certainly um, you could argue legal issue with running a red light. We're just waiting for a turn signal. There we go. We've got the green arrow making a turn. This will be a merge onto Highway 53. The speed limit on this highway is 65, so we'll see if the car gets that. Uh, the first section here, as you can see on the screen, is going over the river, so I do expect the fog to be the densest at this point. For the merge, I do not see any traffic coming up behind me. I do have the set speed at two miles over the speed limit, 67 miles per hour. So we did get to that speed just fine, no issues whatsoever. We'll continue on this road for about another mile and then we'll make an exit off of the freeway. So I did get a message that says autopilot speed limited due to poor visibility. So it did bring it down to 65 miles per hour, right at the speed limit. And as the sun comes up in the air, the visibility is going to get worse and worse uh, coming into this fog. So again, I have the same message, speed's limited due to visibility. We're slowing down now to about 53 miles an hour. I do have traffic coming in from the right behind us. So we're causing them to slow just a little bit for their merge. Otherwise it was safe. I didn't see any disconnects coming through there. Uh, or any other warning messages. Again, autopilot speed limited to due to poor visibility. We're slowing down to 53. And then back up to 60 five miles an hour. So what's happening is the car is cycling down to 53 miles an hour in a 65 mile an hour speed zone with the current visibility conditions. Here we go, message again. And again, back to 53 miles an hour. So as a human driver, if you felt like it was safe to drive at highway speed or maybe even a couple miles under, uh, you would certainly set that speed and, and maintain that speed during your drive. However, with full self-driving with the cameras, it's going to adjust for the conditions in real time. And so in that situation, it was seeing the visibility drop. It would drop the speed. Then as it got a little more visibility, it would bring the speed back up and we would see that cycle. Uh, in speed reduction and, and speed increase. It's going to be making a right turn here. Car does navigate into the right lane, no turn signal for that. There's the turn signal. Creeping forward for visibility. I didn't see a creep limit there on the screen. And again, a unprotected intersection, one-way stop, no traffic coming in from the left or the right. Vehicle makes the turn. And then up to the speed limit. So I'll take over at that point. I think that's good for the drive. We got a chance to see how the car behaved driving in the fog on side streets. In terms of the fog drive, 
I did see reduced visibility on the screen and I also uh, experienced one autopilot disconnect, uh, which is an improvement over the previous drive where I had several disconnects when I attempted to use uh, full self-driving beta in the fog. Uh, so that's what I have for this video. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you.